Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between uh, some doofus with augers, no, Moomin Slayer <laughs> with augers <laughs> and Ori Lenses with High Elves um, so this is going to be a glorious domination for the High Elves hopefully see a Daka um, joining me in the commentary booth is Fymir and Purple Chest Hello Hola Hello, hello, hello. What a feast that we are looking forward to here. We come not to praise Moomin Slayer, but to bury him. Uh, this, the most successful ogre run in the Chalice ever, uh, having won a game. <laughs> I guess, theoretically, it could go on to set legends by winning two. Um, but you're not selling me a ticket to that particular opera. This is going to be an absolute monstrous win for the High Elves. The question is how many lives are they prepared to trade for touchdowns? Do they need development? Do they just want a casual afternoon? Are they just going to mock the Ogres? These are the pressing questions on my mind. Yeah. Uh, it's not, as Orientis says, it's not a great It's not a great elf team, is it? There's only one mighty blow, no stats, no guard. Um, this could have been me. Yep, yep. Is it, is it elves, Jimmy, this team? It is elves, yeah. Is it facing Ogres? Yeah. Does it matter if it's any good? No. Right. <laughs> he has tackle on the some elves, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> three uh three bone heads there just quietly. Which completely obliterates his line and gets his team <laughs> his team split instantly. Are you saying the ogres ogres are already in trouble against the elves? How incredibly unforeseeable. <laughs> Okay. Oh look, a Noblar there was nearly vaguely relevant, <laughs> but then decided not to be at all. Probably should have gone uh, through there, right? Because there's twos. Yeah, just it doesn't matter. It's a Noblar. Just ignore it. Well, with Noblars it's still twos because they don't uh, subtract anything from the Dutch roll. So I guess if you're going to go here afterwards, then that's that's better, isn't it? Well, yeah, this is looking no. problematic, isn't it, now? For the... Anyone that's ever popped on my channel will have heard about my concept of uh, trying to separate the line of scrimmage scrum from the ball carrier um, by getting enough players through into the backfield. I would suggest here the elves have managed that. <laughs> at, at some level, at some level, you know, it's, it's only nine players. <laughs> yeah. So the play here is to blitz this guy that he hasn't blitzed and then hand off to a snotling, run him up seven then move back another ogre and lob him over here and then hope he's out of range Easy But that's not what he's doing, I, I don't know what he's doing Yeah, I mean look, I, I, I've played Moomin Slayer a few times with other things than ogres and he is a decent coach uh, He's very good with the ogres, this isn't a bad ogre team this is an actual good ogre team. I, I, I can't. There's nowhere for that to go. You know, they're still going to lose horrifically to the high elves. Um, yeah. So that's it, really. That's well done, Movement Slayer, for winning round one. That's awesome. I mean, he's won more games than uh, Andy Dabo and Dimi combined. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, well, perhaps that's the answer. Perhaps Andy needs to bring ogres. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, because they did, yeah, for the second time in CCL history. Unbelievable, yeah. These are ogres of legend. He's not going to uphill the ball, he's just going to keep. Um, I've, I've got a team that have played a few games this season. I haven't been massively motivated so far, Steve, I'll be honest. I was going to stream this afternoon, but with Jimmy streaming this, I thought oh, I'd much rather chat with Jimmy and criticise other people's play. No, oh, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Criticising other people much better than having to do something. That's yourself. the whole point of Blood Bowl. A game that's only to be watched, not played. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I think my team's at something like eight zero one. You know, they're just they're very young. <sighs> Might be seven oh one. Something like that. It's only half a dozen games anyway. Oh, I don't go. remember how many wins, I remember the loss. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's killed him. There we are. Good. Killed her. Oh, killed her. One. Did. 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 <laughs> he killed an elf and he liked it. The way it splooshed got him kind of excited. <laughs> it is just a uh, rookie line also. Ding, Was, ding. Jim. Was. <laughs> got one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that player was standing there, yeah, exactly. Though so this guy got him, got himself bashed about. I like that it, either way he pushed him, he was still in contact with the roll go, so he yeah. was, it was pretty nice and obviously relying on dodge to keep him alive a little bit. Now it's staying, now it's getting harder to remain, you know, keep these guys cordoned off. I wonder if we'll see a change in strategy. And I actually think this has been a fairly successful ogre defence, considering the situation they found themselves in. So far, they've they've held it together pretty well. Yeah. Created a lot of threat, and at least tried to get the gang back together. But it's. The question is, how many SPP are gonna is gonna get the mighty blow high elf? I expect <laughs> at least ten. <laughs> yeah, he might level him here. Yeah, he, it definitely is a levelable game, isn't it? Is that or, or he dies? No middle ground. Ooh. Well, I mean, we've been totally dismissing it, but I suppose we should look at the possibility that the ogres just get on top of these elves, kill four or five of them on this drive, get it home, and then only lose two, two one or something. I mean, that, <laughs> that is a real chance. And he can just break, break tackle away, yeah, which he does. Yes, progress of three squares there on a turn he didn't bonehead. Woohoo! Other time to alive. Big foul now as well, a rick like foul coming, I'm sure. Rolling the boat down with one of the block ogres, genius. And another one. <laughs> Here we go. Keep that ogre. Oh no. And say keep him unborn headed, but well, yeah, well, him. even better if you just can hit and it, it's gonna be fine. Yep. It's coming yeah, that's a stronger position. It's the cars. Are oh, we gonna see an apple instant apple? Yeah, I think that's, that's an actual use player. Got to feel bad though about appling a badly hurt, haven't you? No. It works. Guarantees get them into the second half. Guarantees to ogres. be ogres. Yeah. Ogres, Do you actually yeah. need that player? Maybe not. Yes. It's fast and it has tackle and dodge. I like it. But it's against ogres. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to beat them this half anyway, so then they're, they're not going to be as worried in the second half. Exactly, you're going to beat them this half anyway, so I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that, Apple. I don't know, it's fair enough. Like, I mean, I would want to Apple it as well to like make sure you win the game, but on the other hand, it's freaking Ogres. So, <laughs> so it is. Know. It is, but there is, I mean, it's a long shot, but there is a chance they get the snowball rolling, having killed one already, and removing another. And there we are, you know, there's another one going KO. If they can get one off a round, suddenly this does start to look tricky, and that Apo guarantees works, and brings back a player that's great at slaughtering, slaughtering snotlings. Because no, massively outpace anything the Ogres have got, and is really responsive if they throw a piece. I I stand by the Apo, but it's, it's certainly a, a good debate, and I get why, because... If you apo that, you're pretty much guaranteeing death on something you like at some point in the game. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. You don't like doing it because it's no, there's a cost. and the only yeah. thing ogres you... have going for them is six mighty blow hits all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> is they, they will kill some things. <laughs> also, thinking about the future games, that's, if that's the only tacker piece you have, you know, a badly hard just keep him safe. Yeah, exactly. It does, yeah, yeah. 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 Now you have to fill the game and you go and kill uh, he dies like... 
No, I think Jakey. we can agree there's a lot of factors in that decision. Um, and until we have supercomputers that can tell us what is right or wrong, that is one where it is really interpretive. Some well, of it's just in play style and choice of what you are prepared to risk. The supercomputers exist, and as they prove when they were asked to do the job, they just say no. <laughs> yeah, they say no, it's a kid's game, fuck off. We're trying to, <laughs> trying to, we're trying to cure cancer. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck off. That was in something, wasn't it? Uh, oh, the thing with the uh, kids eating chocolate. What's that? Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. The the computer was like, why the hell would I want to win a chocolate bar? <laughs> <laughs> I'll win the tour, whatever. I can't remember. <laughs> such a toxic film now. You look back on the fat shaming of Augustus Gloop and it's just not okay. Oh, I can't remember that part. Is there annoying fat kid? I think there's a yeah. certain amount of... Kidding, that's a woke joke. Oh, yeah, I was it's say, absolutely there's fine. There's a He's certain German, amount. it's fine to laugh at him. Yeah, there's a certain... There's certain, uh, there's certain uh, benefits to bullying, isn't there? <laughs> oh, he's one nine. Uh, didn't Uses like the reroll because what's he gonna do after it? Like break to yeah, play, and then dodge yes. the game. Like that. Yeah, he has to, has to stop there now, doesn't he? Yeah. No. Yes, he does, and a knob fails. Yeah. Being a gentleman of a certain age, I, I feel for him there. <laughs> the old knobla, and now, of course, eventually he's managed to get an isolated ogre, and there's an easy two D on the ball for the. Uh, Elves with a few turns left to to score after they get the ball. Oh, oh okay. yeah. After running that, I mean, in what else are you gonna use the? Run? It's the one thing you don't want to do if you're carrying it on a strength five. Is potato yourself out to the point where you can get enough assists around to get an easy two die. Yeah. As long as you stay in a big dense pack of stuff, that's very difficult to happen. And of course, that's why the nobbler was trying to come. So it is a fail that. Uh, the cost in that position. Yeah. But none of the ogres were ever going to be able to come with it, and that's not great. Um, no. But all of that to me is down to the overhitting on turn one and not prioritizing getting that ball carrier safely into a nice pocket, and it took hence too many turns to get any momentum forwards. Yeah. And hence we ended with that rather desperate play. I hope if uh, Orelens is uh, that kind in the second half, the ogre just limits to throw. Noblars in the, his general direction. <laughs> With a yeah, I mean, I, one. Bring I another one. Think the withdrawn offence is the right way to go in the second half here, assuming we score, which I, I'm prepared to assume quite heavily we do. Wow. Just throw as the high elves. Look at that, sick. Doesn't use the wrestle to get the turnover and uh, gets stuns the ogre as well. Disgusterous. Yeah, that is, that's some lovely dice right there. Disgusterous. Uh, no, I don't. I mean the withdrawn offense. <laughs> yeah, okay, he, means, he means the Daka. <laughs> yes. But, uh, he doesn't like the name Daka. As he will tell us in a few moments. I feel there's no need to. I don't like the person Daka. I'm not naming something after him which he did not invent. He just overuses and hence that there is ironically on fumble a move to laughingly sometimes call the withdrawn offense the Daka <laughs> uh, because he does it I mean he'll do it with chaos against elves he just runs away because he has no spine no moral compass but it's it's I mean it, it doesn't stop the move being very useful annoying and frustrating at times there are times I absolutely do use it myself and this would be one if you can get one up at the half with elves against ogres like Jimmy says you don't want to face those six mighty blows so you withdraw on your offense and try and limit the attrition and you don't even need to score so you can turtle you don't even need to uh, yeah, so push forwards end of the day retreating is a play as old as blood Bowl, you know with IG teams or something like that I don't know why people were so surprised that they become you know better way of doing it, but running away has been a way of living for uh, agility teams. Yeah. What's the point of facing, you know, 
blow mighty blow pylon and all that all the time, you know, face to face. But no way. Yeah, my, always, my slightly wider wide concern about score. it is not that it's in-game use, because if a tactic is usable in-game, it should be used in-game to you know, your fullest advantage, and I hence use it myself. I coach high elves in a long-lived league. They have over 300 games on them in that league, and of course I, you know, withdraw my offence when it's needed. But Beautiful my worry is the blood bowl. By the way, great chalice equity yeah. for real answers. <laughs> Getting the orcs out, spinning their uh, their tassels. Everyone likes some nice tassels on a Sunday afternoon. Oh baby. But now I worry for blood bowl that if if become playing blood bowl becomes about not playing blood bowl as much as possible. Um, so doing a withdrawn offence and then perhaps even playing from the ground and waiting for a one turn. Well, there's an even easier way to not play blood bowl, which is just to not play blood bowl. So I worry that it, it doesn't it's not a good seller for how the game is. You know, people like games that's all action every turn, things going on. But the thing is, with a CCL format where you need to play a good amount of games, protect your players and I, at the same time farm SPP to have a chance at the yep, absolutely. A real chance. You need to do that all that kind of stuff because you need to win seventy five percent of your games and still yeah. have a team and like that. I mean if your target is to win have a chance to win if you tell your concept is i just want to qualify you know because I no want absolutely to and i, I don't that. blame people for responding to the environment and the rule set that they face with creativity and finding the best route to maximize their you know chances of doing whatever they choose to do i don't blame them for that i just then say okay well what can we do to change the environment to get a better game don't worry blue blue three past change so no more of that well, look, blood blood three has addressed some of the natural one turning scorers scoring issues that everyone has it has addressed c pom <laughs> Some would say over-addressed it, but you know, that's a worry lots of people have, and that's been addressed. So there is a lot of progress. It just well, it doesn't seem to have done much years, about withdrawn yeah. offence. And the fact that the fact that you can use all your re-rolls in a single turn has actually made the withdrawn offence even stronger. Yes. So that's just, just it's, a, it's an ongoing concern. Stronger but less enjoyable because you don't get the uh, you don't get the uh, <laughs> Stronger winning game is not as strong as team development or, or fun. No, that's right. Because the vanities aren't as easy because even elves can't pass now. Yeah. Because you can be agile as the wind and yet still not know how to throw a football. Hmm. Thanks God they were bringing manga passing games. Of course you could be agile and not be able to catch a football either. So are they going to bring back the catching stuff? Well, it seems no. They could also bring back the tackle and dodge stats when you have all have a dodge two, so your tackle level one doesn't work, like yeah. in the first edition. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I kind of hate, I really hate that they've done that, to be honest, the passing start. It's so stupid. It's so yeah. stupid. It needed better thinking through. The bit that annoys me the most is that then, because they've decided that random skill allocation should be a thing, they've had to come up with 12 passing skills, when clearly they didn't have 12 ideas for that. Yeah. <laughs> I just read that. <laughs> Doctor feels bad. When Blood Bowl 3 comes out, people will have bigger reasons to not play than if the elves are buggering off down the pitch. <laughs> true. True. It's very, very true. It's true. And one of the things that people are not talking about, and it worries me about Blood Bowl 3, is not also the state of the game. Because of all the things we have seen, there is nothing about how it's going to be the league play, the league creation, the tournament creation, you know, what kind of formats are going to be in the game. Yep. Will you can plan your league with your friends or make it a big one or something like no, that? No, but there's going to be a that. single player campaign. Aren't you excited? <laughs> oh, I mean, my, my, my pants are full right now <laughs> with that idea. <laughs> yep. well, beautiful way of putting it. <laughs> you know, but yeah, one of the things that Blue Bowl has is that uh, this uh, perfect rule system that every single league, tournament, or whatever in the world have to implement their own house rules. <laughs> you know, so they say, okay, yeah. let's uh, focus on the campaign and all that because we have nothing else. And that's what worries me that they actually they have nothing else mm -hmm. about who's going to be, you know, plan yeah. the format or I, do something I think, like that. I, sadly, I think you're right, and it really depresses me. And I hope it wasn't the case. I want Cyanide to build a brilliant game that's massively successful, brings loads of new blood into Blood Bowl, and sees me crowned king of the universe because of my Blood Bowl knowledge, <laughs> uh, and rightly lauded by all men. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I really still hope so, though. And hopefully, look, it's a long open beta, or, you know, early access. Um, yeah. Hopefully they're, they're going to sort some of those issues out. Well, there was a whisper on a channel about a better user interface for PC users. 
Um, that would go a long, long way. Um, they need to sort out some of the basic mechanics. Like, it's, it's, it's impossible. If well, on the, the opponent's problem, turn, you have to choose to use a skill, yeah. you don't know who you're choosing it for, then you're not playing Blood Bowl. I feel like another problem. You're playing Rain blind guess ball. Yeah, right now, Blood Bowl too. If you just want to play games of Blood Bowl, you know, and get your team improved or something like that, bro, but just play once in a while, you know, I have one hour, I'll play a game of Blood Bowl. It's nearly impossible because if you want to play proper games, you have to go to the CCL. But the CCL resets every six weeks, so it's like you yeah. play, start playing in the week four and you play three games per week as a regular human being tends to do in video games, you know, play three, four hours of a video game per, uh, per week and then change the game. It, like, well, if you talk to someone who knew what they time. were doing, you know, someone who, for example, had run the Fumble tournament scene successfully during its heyday for about six years, when it had multiple thousands of players, um, they could tell you how to build successful interactive systems that players enjoy playing but are still reasonably fair and competitive. Yeah, and um, keep you know more or less. It's not that difficult, but Cyanide have refused to do anything like that, and instead it just continues to come up with utter nonsense, which people love and they play because you know you will play what is there to play. But it could be so much better. This yeah. new rule set, for example, gives you a, a fantastic opportunity to exactly solve most of those problems. Have a CCL-like structure, but insist on rebuys at the end of the time period. Uh, cap the number of games playable within that time period, and then you've got a competitive long-lived perpetual system that is fair if no one's allowed to play more than i don't know pick a large number 40 40 games it's similar to what you're supposedly maxing the ccl out now before doing a rebuy and compulsorily there is a rebuy at the end of every seven week season but the teams can then as long as they rebuy continue from season to season yep. and then i think you've got a beautiful system that is reasonably fair and competitive that allows people to, as you say, play casually, occasionally, and still develop teams. Um, yeah, because now I think that's, that's a, that's a win-win. It seems a no-brainer, and it seems given this rule set, that would be an obvious opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and that's... popular with the player base. Because but that's why I don't have, play Blue Ball. Do I don't have that much time. Do you know, to invest yeah. in uh, playing 15, uh, 20 games or something like that, and then in the 19th game, lose four players and... Well, you see, gone. I could even help you out by a wrinkle to that could be that instead of a compulsory rebuy at the end of uh, a seven-week season, if you max it at, say, if, if you've got 40 games or more, you know, you have to stop. You're not allowed to play a 41st game until you're in the chalice or not, or until you rebuy. But you don't have to rebuy if you've got less than, say, 10 games. Yeah, so you can play you... a few games a season for the first three seasons, and then one season you go over that number, and you do have to rebuy at the end. Um, and then everyone could get what they wanted, and it's still competitive, and it's still fair, and the teams live forever, and that sounds brilliant. Yep. Um, but, you know, I've got lots of experience doing that and know what I'm talking about, so why would Cyanide ever seek me out or talk to me when they can talk to some nutter in the wilderness like Doe? <laughs> Oh, or, like depressingly, I know I'm not going to say who I think they talked to about the online multiplayer offering for Blood Bowl 3, because I suspect I know who it is, and there's someone I like, but I don't like their opinions on yeah. online multiplayer Blood Bowl. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got some action here. We've got the uh, the ogres sort of getting in the way of this ball a little bit. Oh, this yeah. is now a problem needed to be solved. We should talk about this. Well, it's just solved itself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that pretty much does. He rolled a one. I mean, he still has to get some help to deal with the ogre in his cage. Well, there's a guy right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> or it could have been that one. See, this, the tackle is not really doing anything with his tackle. Which is no. which was my pole point. Why is the um, there's a nobbler there with multiple skills? That's interesting. Yeah, but then the alternative was hitting without block or anything. Yeah, yeah. So. Wow! Even the cheeky handoff there before a screen was in place. Yeah, yeah, with, just a with an agility was, knob nearby. There was no That's... need for the pass, was there? He was already on 51. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh yeah, he's on 13. So that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, now 
he scores and he's 2 0 up, and it's over. And now he hits him, but again, he could have done this with just mighty blow, right? Like, you know, the tackle isn't important, is it? Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, he's, he's, he's powered and cast him. And he did roll a power. But at the end of the day, like, there's not that much difference between hitting him on three dice with block um, and mighty blow. So, I, I really... I don't like that apple. That's all I'm saying. I just didn't like it. Just because just, no. I don't think it was needed. Um, in terms of the hit, I, I think it's pretty much a muchness. It, it, to me, it would probably come down to, is there one I particularly want to get the SPP? Yeah. Yeah, like, it's not terrible or anything, obviously, because, like, you know, it's certainly what you'd have done in a real game. If it was Underworld, for example, you'd have apple it, wouldn't you, instantly? Because you're going to need that tackle against all those goblins and stuff, and, you know, there's a chance they beat you. <laughs> so do we, um, do we TTM here? Yes. It's well, the only well, way to win, isn't it? Yeah, you try to. You hope for a bad kick. And get a perfect one. Yeah, the kick's nice. The quick snap helps. You can put the ogre forward over the line. Unless you're prepared to blitz. Oh, yeah, okay. So he is going to blitz and go for cheeky two steps. Well, snotlings are snow... Uh, Goblars are snow... Ugh! Noblars are so slow... That probably is a good plan. Yes, for sure. You can even uh, chain your uh, ogre under the guy as well. Yes, it doesn't have to be a blitz. Although. Oh, it's sidesteps. So, no. Yeah, no, you can't. The sidesteps are both at that end. I don't think it's possible. Oh, no, you're just going to throw where you are. <laughs> Clever activation, scouting for the bonehead. Yeah, just in case he does have a break tackle one that could have uh, come off and done the throw instead. Yeah. Makes the landing easy in range. He is. He is. If he makes the go for it, which he does. Hey. There you go. Game there you on. go. Still danger here. Still danger. <laughs> the snotling celebration is one of the Noblar celebration is one of my favourites. <laughs> It's pretty good. Human Chile does though. Unacceptable. Uh, <laughs> so how do you change that? Because I'm not sure I know how. Um, it's in the club where you'd like choose your sponsor and you know stadium upgrades. And right. Stuff. Okay. The page I'd never go to. Right. That one. Yep. That one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can still level the rookie catcher. Glorious two completions. Easy. So we really want to blitz, but either way, we need to be set up to throw Noblars into the backfield and try and punch holes where other ones can run through. I suppose we sort of are. Yep. Well, he's going to try and score on that elf instead. I have a tackle for this blitz, yeah. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, I just think I would have probably been greedy. Like, it's probably the right play. Well, I mean, it's definitely the right play for winning the match, isn't it? Match equity. Yeah. It was definitely the right play to Apple. But, I would have definitely been greedy and gone for chalice equity in this game. Pass. I was going to say, we can't stay there because that's too near these break tackle logos. So it's the full on instant potato for 3 1, which is the right thing to do, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Even if it fails, the ball is further away from being scored against you, and the odds of them getting back at this when you're this far down is almost zero. So. And yeah, it's not a potato, it's just a full, full cage, isn't it? Yep. Even a spaced cage a little bit for the. Uh... Yeah, break tackle. Nice 
this guy can do some wild stuff here. No, he's not gonna. Or run three squares to his left. Yeah, um, I'll move him like to here or something, I guess. I guess he yeah, might die off, so he probably don't do that. Well, but this no. looks locked up tighter than um, a firmly locked door. <laughs> Uphill here, though, and then th this could be good, couldn't it? Yeah, it's the, it's the it, it is the only way. You can make it a minus two, which he has. Make you can even make it a one die. Oh, that's but this guy's the one who's going to blitz. No, no, no. You can blitz him with the uh, the break tackle. So, oh no, now that's the square you were pushing him to. Now it needs to be a pow, which luckily it is. Ah, uh, still this is still overly complicated, isn't it? It's too funny. Yeah. Gets the pow, but cleverly Ori Lenses had kept it on this guy and not given it to this guy, who now catches it. <laughs> <laughs> I've made that mistake too many times before. Given the ball to the guy I wanted to score, it's much better to give it to some goober you don't care about, and then your other catcher will get it on the key turn. Woohoo! <laughs> Cheats and hacks. There you go, guaranteed score now. We've got to see a yeah. 3D, surely. There's one. Boom. There's another one. Oh, has he niggled this guy? Oh, wow. Or even more reason, maybe not. <laughs> and we're done. Right, I am actually going to disappear, so thank you for that, Jim. I might be back in a few minutes, but I need to go and uh, talk to my son and, and chivvy him into a music practice and things. Okie dokie, thank you very much. A few very hours. Uh, pleasure. What a what an interesting game that was. Completely unpredictable result. If only we'd have thought at the outset that somehow the elves could win. <laughs> yes. Incredible result. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Somehow. Well, they can get a riot and then still. <laughs> we can still do it. Woo! <laughs> yeah, still time for a death. Yeah, that's true. That is the big fear, isn't it, really, of this match? The big fear of this match is just the Randor death. Really, like, you should. You should be almost guaranteed on the win. As the elves here, and you're just really worried about the Randall houses. Not the Randall turns, that's why. Oh, perfect defense, you have to protect the players. Yeah, limits the auger hits a little bit. Obviously, he doesn't care if he throws the uh, Knobla. There is a death. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Prophetic from Oriolensis. How did he know that was going to happen? He can see the future. What a country wizard. <laughs> Gets the power there. <laughs> it's completely inexplicable, Oriolensis. <laughs> hey, so there's a bug in the system here or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go for the score. <laughs> oh. Why not? After all, you know, finish with uh, throwing a Noblar. Oh, he fails. He fails the landing. Tragic. And there you go. Yeah, not fouling. Not fouling BM, yep, well there you go. Oh, and the guy fantastic died. MVP, fantastic MVP for the death player. <laughs> Could have upped it. Could have upped it if he did. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it was definitely the right play for winning the game, the upping the tackler, but yes. you know. To go for complete uh, insurance. Yeah. 
and all that, yeah, having the tackler is the kind of peace of mind that you get, so yes. Yeah. In that uh, sense, perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a real criticism. Um but yeah, congrats to Oriolensis, commiseration, Moomin Slayer. Uh obviously I already thank PC who's gone. Thank you very much, Fimey. Absolutely amazing stuff as always. Glorious. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>